Hi, I'm Matthew Whitfield. I'm the head chef of the Terrace Restaurant and the Montague Arms. Uh, today we're going to do a whole sea bass. I'm going to portion it up, uh, just show you the, uh, the way of doing that. And with the bones and all the trim from the fish, we're going to make a fish soup, which uh, I'm going to talk you through as well. So to start off with, I'm just going to take off the, uh, the fins and the gills, because these are pretty sharp. If you do sting yourself on one of those, it's going to, it's going to bother you. They're, uh, they're pretty sharp and they will, uh, they will get yourself affected quite easily. So we just take these off to make it safer. This fish actually is about three to four kilo bass. It was actually sourced and landed uh, in Mudderford, which is just down well, sort of a few miles away from the new, um, across the new forest from the restaurant. Uh, we use the whole fish. We always get our fish in whole. Um, it's just, you can just really tell about uh, freshness. And it was actually landed in a place called Mudderford which is actually somewhere I used to fish with my father when I was a, a young lad. So I'm actually from the New Forest originally. So we're gonna go down like that. And just release the head. And then we're gonna follow the backbone. Now, this fish has already been scaled for us. So we're just gonna come in. It was actually landed two days ago and we actually had it in the fridge just to rest up. It, had, it was so stiff from when it was so fresh. You can actually just let the fish rest in the fridge for a couple of days and it gives you a much more easier way of filleting it. So you just come around, you throw the bones down. Just like that. When you get to about here, you're gonna hit the rib cage. And then the easiest way is just to come up with a pair of scissors and come up all the time, just keeping the meat well away from the bones. Like that. You release it. So like I said, any of this, any of the bones, anything that we've got left, we are going to use. We're going to use the head. We're going to use everything. Something we do with it is we, um, we make a fish soup. So we do a basic miracle, so vegetables, tomatoes. We sweat all that down with a bit of saffron. We add the bones and the heads and we cook that down. We actually blend up, when, when we add the fish stock, we actually blend up the, uh, the fish soup with all the bones and the head inside as well. It actually gives the, um, it gives the soup real depth of flavour and um, and an amazing consistency and it actually thickens the soup. So I actually think all of that we're going to use as well in the soup. We actually then just aerate it. We put it into a gas gun and we aerate it and we serve it for an amuse-bouche for our diners. And it's just, I find it really important that we get this amazing produce so locally that why not use the whole thing? And it's something that we feel really strongly about here in the restaurant. It also allows people to, to really think about what they're doing ideas for different dishes you know if I've got a prime piece of fish like this and it allows the guys to be involved and they can make a soup out of it then why not so just going up here again down the rib cage because it's such a big fish it really is thick bones If you don't do this, it's something that I learned a few years ago. If you don't do this and you just go with your knife, you actually sometimes find that you're, um, you take too much off the belly here. And this technique that I'm learned, I learned, that I'm about to now, is I learned off an old a chef friend of mine, which um, I thought was amazing. And it was just, it maximized everything and you didn't get any wastage on the actual bone at all. So all you do, we're just gonna clean that up. It's always important to keep the fish clean, keep your knife clean, keep your board clean. And that allows you to, so what we do is you pick the bone and you run up the bones. Whereas normally some people would go straight down and you take half your belly off, here you're just taking the bone out. So just up like that. You get basic fish pies and you just pull them off. Again, all of this we use, everything. 
And then rather than losing so much of the belly, you actually, that's all meat there. So it's just having respect for the whole fish, using every single piece of it, and really celebrating produce that we get here. Take that off there. That's part of your belly there. So pull that. And then here, we're just going to go here. Just take that little belly off. Again, keeping everything, you're not losing anything. That's the first piece. And then we're going to repeat the same process with this one here. So we're going to go up. You just got to cap the cap's bone and then run up like that, catch the bone, run. And actually a friend of mine, a chef I used to work for, used to do this. And when I first saw it, I thought, oh, fantastic. Because everybody else I've sort of seen, myself included, used to just go through the belly and used to think, well, you lose so much meat. Whereas here, you really are, all it is, is just the bone. And you're left with all the meat. At the end of the day, the guest is getting uh, the best product possible, really. So again, we're just going to clean down here. Like, like this. So obviously, the next thing to do is pin bone it, which is so important. Basically, you sort of start here, and it's always the best way to do it is to just count down and don't miss one. So you go, you start right at the top, and then you go to the next one. Because this fish is so fresh, it really grabs onto the bones. And the best thing to do is keep the fish flat, which is something that, again, I learned when I was working in Brussels, actually. I was working in a fish restaurant, and I used to hook the fish, you know, but one thing to do is lay it flat, find the bone, and when you do it, you hold, the, you hold your fingers like this, you pull through, and it doesn't affect the meat at all and you'll get just a clean bone like that and you don't affect the flesh at all. And just constantly counting down. Don't miss one because when you miss one, that is where you cook a piece of fish, this beautiful piece of fish. You've done all the time to prep this and take your time doing it. And then that's when you get a fish bone at the end and it sort of ruins the whole process really. So just be very, very careful. Always showing it respect. All the bones again, we keep. We have a little clean up. It's always important when doing fish, you keep the side clean. You have these cloths ready, your trays ready. You just keep this clean. This fish is fresh, you can actually eat completely raw. So you can prep it and you can cook it, fantastic. But when, it's, when, it's, when it is this fresh, you can literally cut it and eat it raw. And it's incredible, or you can just cure it. Our portions here, we change, we do an a la carte and we do a tasting menu. So our portions will vary. I'm gonna do an a la carte portion here now. So I'm gonna take this away. So I just square the fish off. you're looking at a portion like that. And that, is a, that is a decent piece of fish so we take out we trim the belly flip it over just square it off where the where the fish is so thick and we're going to pan fry this we want a skin crispy on it Crispy, uh, crispy skin on bass is incredible. So what we do is we just angle it very lightly and just a light scoring. And that's our portion. For a taste menu, we do something a little bit different. I'm actually gonna take off this here. You see, I've actually gone at an angle. And what I wanna do is I wanna portion my fish. I wanna take the skin off, because I'm gonna steam this piece. We keep all the belly, everything. We turn it into a tartare. So we completely serve that raw. I'm gonna come around. We're gonna serve this piece. I'm gonna keep it beautifully and square. It's a little chef-y thing where we 
try and angle things off. But what I, do, what I don't like doing is, yes, we can angle this stuff off. Yes, we can make it perfect and square, but I don't want to waste anything. So we just angle around. I want to take that little bit of bud line off. So I'm going to angle around more. And all the trim that I'm doing, we're going to use in a tartar. So we use everything. We do not waste anything. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to perf we're going to steam it. We're going to serve it on its own. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the skin from this one. We're going to puff it up. We're going to dry it. We're going to deep fry it. And we're going to make a crumb with seaweed and uh, puffed sea bass skin. And we're going to serve that simply steamed crumb on top to get the texture and serve it with a puree and a sauce. Very simple and a complete respect for the produce that we get. And that's our a la carte portion of sea bass and our tasting. So what we actually do with this now is what I'll do is I'll trim them all up. Yes. So that's for our tartar and this is for our soup. This again, the top end. If I was to keep that on, you're going to have a really imperfect piece of fish. And also this is going to overcook. It's going to be, so we take it off, I'm going to serve that as a tartare. So for the bones and the head, like I said, we're going to use it for soup. So what we do is we just come through and we break it through. Just into manageable portions. We've got all the bones, sort of the marrow, everything from the bone. We're going to lightly roast these in the oven. And then whilst these are roasting, we're going to do a, uh, a small mirepoix of carrots, celery, onions, and leeks. We're going to put some tomatoes in there. We're going to cook them down and uh, add the bones to it. Cook it with a pinch of saffron. I have a very good friend who uh, owns a saffron farm, Cornwall, who sends us uh, saffron, which is fantastic. So it's an English saffron. We cook it with that, we cook it down. We add some wine, cook that down. We add fish stock and then we blend the whole thing, bones as well. Because we have, the, we have a very good machine here which will blend through the bones. It adds some depth to it, some body to it, it thickens it, an amazing flavor. And again, we've, we've, we haven't wasted a single thing. The head, for instance, what we'll do, we'll cook all that down. That will go into the oven, just a light roast, otherwise it becomes bitter. We put this, which will blend. This will cook in the stock as well. When this is cooked, everything will fall apart and you'll be left with a very hard shell so we'll take that out we'll blend the rest of the bones we blend it we pass it we season it with lemon juice and uh, and salt and then what we do is we put it into a gas canister gun we charge it twice and it comes out like a mousse a warm fish soup mousse we serve it classically with a rui croutons and some beautiful uh, old winchester cheese that we source locally and it's our interpretation of a little uh, fish soup with rui and we serve that as an amuse bouche for our guests to really get them going and we also explain that we use the whole product here at Terrace and we believe in it and we have the utmost respect for the produce that we get and a lot of the produce that we get like I said for this for instance it comes from an area where I used to fish with my dad uh, so a lot of the stuff that we get we get our venison from Bewley which is just across and um, and we, we, we honestly believe in using every part of the animal every part of the fish and uh, maximizing the flavor that we've got so that's it, I'm Matthew Whitford at Terrace at the Montague Arms and that's my uh, sea bass demonstration.